Hey you guys, so I'm back after a long, like year long break of doing videos. But I thought I would do this video for you guys today. Um, one, because I got some new products that looked really, really interesting and pretty um, not usual. So I thought I would do a video to kind of go over it with you guys and just show you guys the new stuff I got. And um, not only give a review on it, like my thoughts of it, but to also show you how it works. So the first thing that I wanted to show you guys is this. Um, I threw the packaging away, unfortunately, but it is from Eco Tools. So it has this really great, um, this really great like wooden handle, and then it has a sponge tip applicator. So it goes flat right here, and then it goes round as you go around it. So I definitely used it because I wanted to give you guys a good review on it, but I'm also going to do a video while using it in front of you all. So I do have some makeup on. I have a little bit of like mascara on, you know, my eyebrows are on, but my skin is clear. My skin is clean. I have no makeup on the top of my skin right here because I wanted to show you guys how this brush works. So my thoughts on it are, I like it. I think it's cool. Um, I like that it's flat and it's easy to fit like in areas under your eyes or, you know, like around your nose area, your mouth. So I do like that about it. Kind of reminds me of like a mini like beauty blender. But um, yeah, so this is it. Um, it cost about $6.99. I got it at Walmart. And if you guys follow me on Facebook, um, I got a lot of comments on it and people asking questions, asking for reviews. Um, you know, a lot of people were saying they couldn't even find it. I'm surprised that I found it, to tell you the truth. Um, it was the only one left, so I definitely was sure to pick it up when I saw it. But yeah, I definitely want to do um, a mini, like, not so much a tutorial, but almost a review on it. So I got that. The next thing I wanted to show you guys is this little guy. And it's also from Equal Tools. And if you guys can read it, it says Face and Body Sculpting. So this is a pretty large brush for sculpting. So I got it because it was different. It was unique. I have no brushes like it. And it's from Equal Tools. So I figured if it's from Equal Tools, it would be great quality. And really, you guys, it's excellent quality. Um, when I pulled it out, I wasn't sure. It didn't really look soft in the packaging. It kind of looked like the bristles were hard. But, oh, was I so ever wrong. The bristles are so soft, you guys. It's so soft. I can't stress enough how soft this brush is. Um, and it's very, very full. Very full and very thick. So I believe it's made to kind of sculpt the face, like around this area here, through here, um, that type of thing. Maybe even add a little bit of powder through there, uh, shimmer powder or whatever. But I'm also going to do a little um, demonstration on this brush. And lastly, the other brush that I got is this one here. And it's also from Equal Tools. And this one is called the Deluxe Fan. Um, again, beautifully soft. It says with bamboo and recycled materials. So this is the packaging it came in, which is nice. I'm definitely going to save this packaging. I really, really wish I would have saved this one, but I didn't. So what can I do? But anyway... This one, again, is incredibly soft. It's very full. I know some brushes are really, like, thin. And, yeah, it's made to kind of highlight the skin. But this is incredibly full. You can kind of see the, the width of it, the thickness of it. And um, so, yeah, I just want to do a quick demonstration. So let me kind of get started. Pull my bangs out of the way. But, um, yeah, the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, spray my face with some Fix Plus. Why? Because that's part of my normal routine. Um, this Fix Plus is awesome. If you guys haven't used it or if you don't know a lot about it, um, some of the ingredients inside of it are uh, like mineral water. There's also glycerin. And glycerin is what helps your makeup last for a long time. It kind of almost like melts and molds it to your texture, to your skin. So that's what makes your makeup last. And that's why it's cool to put your eyeshadows with it for like long wearing shadows because of the glycerin. So I'm just going to spray my face. And get it fairly damp with the Fix Plus, and it feels so good. So then the next thing I want to do is um, I would probably usually put my uh, moisturizer on, but you know, for time's sakes and the demonstration, I'm just going to use a primer. So the primer I'm going to use is um, Physicians Beauty, and this one here is an anti redness primer. So I'm just going to stick it on just a regular uh, foundation brush, and I'm only going to do about that much. And I'm just going to put this all over my skin. 
And obviously the color of it is green because uh, green neutralizes redness. So that's the point of, you know, me using a green moisturizer or a, a green primer. Crisis with my kids. But anyway, so I'm in the process of just putting on the primer, which I'm about done. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to add or that we're going to try is our little um, sponge tip applicator. So I'm just going to get a little bit of a, a foundation right here on my hand. And the foundation I'm going to use is Studio Sculpt. And this is an SPF 15. This is for dry skin. Now during the winter time, my skin has really gotten dry. So I'm just going to put a little dab of it right here on my uh, hand. So... That's what I'm gonna work from. This is actually NC25, which is probably a bit dark for me, but I don't know, I'm just gonna use it. So I'm just gonna kinda dab this on in places that I'm gonna want my makeup. And I'm just gonna spread it in. I'm gonna kinda go like in a bouncing motion rather than really like, like spreading, spreading. I think next time I may want to try this, uh, I may want to try this damp because you know how you can wet the beauty blender. Maybe I'll even um, dampen it a little bit with Fix Plus. And just kind of help spread that around. Get a little bit more makeup. Now, if you guys know me, you know that I love foundation and I really like full coverage. So the average person may not need to spread this much makeup around, but for me, it's definitely just like a preference. Like I like a lot of makeup. I don't want it to look like cake face, like ugly, but I do like a decent amount of coverage, uh, whether I like need it or not. So I'm just gonna kind of spread that in a little bit. But yeah, you guys, this actually gives a really good application. I'm liking the application of it. Let me zoom in just a bit so you all could really see what it did for my face. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to um, get is, let me kind of zoom back. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is um, add a little bit of contour. So I'm just going to get this big, 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 ginormous bronzer right here. And this bronzer is from Lancome. And I'm just going to get some color on my brush, just like this. I'm just going to dig it in there. And then I'm going to start from here. And I'm going to start from like my hairline and just kind of almost like bounce it back and forth where I want the contour. Just like this. And this is going to give me instant warmth to my skin, as you can see. So then I'm going to get a little bit more color from my palette here and add some to this side. So again, we're just kind of bouncing it on. And then going this way. Yeah. I'm just going to go down my neck a little bit. Cool. So as you all can see, it makes for really pretty contour, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is get my brush, and I'm also going to get uh, this beautiful highlighter. This is called uh, Light Scapade, and this is from MAC, and I'm going to do a little technique where I spray my brush with some Fix Plus, just like that. I'm going to go back in there with Light Scapade and get a fair amount all over the bristles, just like this. And just add it in places that I want a pretty highlight. You. 
but yeah, let me get a little bit closer so you guys can see up close. All right, you guys, so out, out of like, I think I'll kind of grade these a little bit, but I'm definitely gonna give my phone tip applicator about an eight. I definitely think you guys should purchase this, use it, I think you'll like it. Um, I'm gonna give this little guy a 10. I'm absolutely infatuated with it. It's so soft, it leaves for beautiful, effortless contour. Love this product, it's well worth the $11.99 I paid for it. Um, the fan brush again. I'm gonna give this about a 10 also. I really really love this fan brush I have nothing like it that is thick like this the other fan brushes I have are very thin The quality is amazing and this was definitely worth like the $8.99 I paid for this one So that's gonna conclude my review and you know my little uh, demonstration of these products But thank you guys so much for watching. Please add my Facebook makeup by dizzle and um, don't forget to add my fan page It's also it's called Makeup by Dizzle. Sorry about that. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you all have a really, really nice night, and it was really nice to do a video again. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.